While campaigning for governor on Wednesday, Texas Democratic gubernatorial candidate Beto O'Rourke was asked about guns and children by a concerned mother. The voter said she was scared to send her children to school as mass shootings continue to rise and following the horrific Uvalde school massacre. She stated that guns in Texas were not going to go anywhere, no matter what O'Rourke might do as governor. O'Rourke, a former congressman and failed 2020 presidential candidate, has had a storied history on gun control. As a presidential contender, he railed against citizens owning AR-15s. When he launched his run for governor, O'Rourke sought to minimize his messaging on gun control. But following the Uvalde mass killing, he has resumed his criticism of Republican-supported gun policies. Same area. Okay. Hi, I'm Allie. Um, I am a mother of three young children, and you touched on the subject about tightening gun laws. But I have two children who are in school, they're ages yeah. seven and five. And for the first time in my life, I was afraid to send them to school this year. Yeah. What, you're gonna tighten gun laws, which is all fine and well. But when we look at the fact of the matter, there will always be guns, especially in Texas. What are you gonna do on the ground to protect our schools? We can take guns from people. We can put laws on, we can put laws on people. But at the end of the day, there will still be guns in Texas. And there will still be people that can get those hands on those guns. What are you gonna do at each individual school? I don't care about Chicago, I'm in Texas. Thanks for the question. And I'm glad that you raised the question this way because everything that I described earlier will not stop every instance of gun violence. And we should acknowledge that right away. It will reduce the number. It could have prevented something like Uvalde or El Paso or Red Flag Law or raising the minimum age of purchase. That, that would have helped. But there are other scenarios where it won't. So what else can we do? Um, I want to make sure that we're listening to you, to teachers, to parents, to students, to principals at these campuses. Each campus, I mean, my kids go to a middle school in El Paso and they go to a high school in El Paso. Vastly different campuses and dynamics and security concerns, number of doors, one building's more than 100 years old, the other is 30 years old. That principal and those administrators there understand where the weaknesses are. Let's make sure that we pay any price to make sure that they are secure. Whether it's an issue with the doors, which keeps coming up again and again after that investigation in Uvalde, or the fact that that teacher was unable to lock her door to begin with. She put in the work order request and apparently it hadn't been honored. That's what I read. Let's find out when we get all the, the details and facts from this. But they're gonna know their campuses better than anyone else. Um, so when we were in East Texas, folks would describe how they feel secure in their schools. They say, hey, Beto, will you support us? Absolutely, I'm here to be your partner, not to mandate a solution to you from afar, not to prevent you from doing your own thing. You know, there was a party once in Texas that believed in local control. We have a chance to assume that mantle right now and get behind it. There are other things we can do as well. Um, the governor mentioned, and mentioned again recently, uh, but he did this the day after you validated that this is a mental health care problem. And can we do better in mental health care? Absolutely. We're 51st in the nation today. The problem is um, he took $211 million out of the state's mental health care budget the month before you validated. So we've literally got to put our money where our mouth is to fund these schools for their security, to fund mental health care, to do some smart things, bipartisan things, common sense things on guns and who can buy them and who can have them and how they are used and whether or not an 18 year old should be able to buy two AR-15s. Th these are things that we can do that are going to make us safer. I just want you to know on a personal level, I share your anxiety. My kids started their sophomore, freshman and sixth grade years last Monday. We get started early in El Paso. And you know, a week and a half into this year, that is constantly on my mind because not a thing has changed in this state since that shooting or the Santa Fe High School shooting or other shootings that we've had, it's really time that we change this and it's gonna be on all of us to get that done. So thank you for asking the question. Really, really good okay, question. I'm right here, Appreciate I'm gonna do three more questions. Okay. Hi. Um, thank you so much for being here, and I, I do appreciate the shout-outs. Um, I myself am an immigrant from El Salvador. I came to the U.S. as a refugee. 